Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and today I'm really excited to bring you guys another 3D printing resin review. Uh, this is another one from Soraya Tech. This is their fast resin. Um, so, so far we've reviewed their blue resin, which is their tough resin. It's great for any kind of functional parts or anything that's gonna be uh, mechanical or under any kind of stress or load. Uh, we also went ahead and reviewed their tenacious resin a little while ago, which was a flexible or semi-flexible, uh, really unique resin. Well. What about for those times when you either don't need a specialty resin or you want to prototype or you're making minis or just a general purpose resin 3D printing? Well, that's where Soriatech Fast Resin comes into play. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and do some printing. We're gonna talk about my experience with this resin, what I think about it, how it's been. But before we get into all that, we've gotta do some printing. So let's get into it. So fast resin, uh, this is resin that I have seen quite a bit of online. I have seen a lot of other uh, YouTubers and people I follow on Twitter that have been playing around with this and getting like just absolutely amazing prints. Um, the color I got was gray, but it's also available in a like neon yellowy green color. Um, and also one other color as well, which I can't think of off the top of my head. I think it might be black. Um, but yeah, so I was crazy excited to get my hands on this. I went ahead and um, Right away when I got it, started doing some printing. I did printing on the Elegu Mars. I did printing on the longer 3D Orange 30 to see how it would perform on both of these machines. You saw by the footage that both printers did a fantastic job of printing with this resin. Um, I did nothing special with it. I threw it into, I threw my files into Chitubox. I used default settings and hit go and the printers and the resin did the rest. Um, so yeah, I have been really blown away with this resin um, for quite a few reasons. So the first one is really how easy it was to work with this resin. Um, it's incredibly low odor. Cleanup was awesome with this resin. Supports removed really, really well, which comes down to a bit of profile tuning, but even the stickiness of the resin when it was done printing, it wasn't too sticky and also was very easy to post-process with just a a couple of minutes, if that, in the isopropyl alcohol tub that I have, and then I threw it, as you saw, under my UV light, five minutes under the UV light, and the parts were completely cured and ready to be taken out. So um, that was really great. Um, the low odor is a huge deal for me because I'm indoors in an apartment. I can't, I've had a couple of resins in the past I've used that are really stinky, and I just can't for one, my health, and two, um, for everybody, can't stink up the apartment. So having a resin that I can print with and I know is going to be, um, you know, a really reliable resin that doesn't produce a lot of odors is awesome. And realistically, last thing, which is one of the top selling points, is the price point. Um, on average, I've seen this resin going for a full liter, which is two, it's two of these bottles um, for somewhere around $35 to $40 ballpark, which is a really killer deal for, for resin. Um, when I first got into resin 3D printing, the bottles were more around like 60 and up for a liter. So seeing that you can get high quality uh, resin for your printer at a price point that's not gonna break the bank is always really nice to me. So realistically, this resin, in my opinion, is gonna be for most people that are using a um, LCD type printer. If you're using an SLA with a laser or potentially a DLP with a projector, it might not be compatible because it's targeted towards um, LCD 
uh, based resin printers. But if you are using an LCD based resin printer and you're looking for some general purpose resin for models like miniatures or prototyping or things that don't need to have incredible strength or flexibility, this is a really kick ass general purpose resin. And I did put it through its courses. I did a total of six or seven prints from small minis to a pretty good sized mesh cat to a goblin to a really pretty lotus flower and all the things I did, it just turned out like it turned out great. And the cool thing is about uh, the gray color, which again, if you're a lot of you that are doing minis and things like that are probably gonna be priming it and doing post-processing. So color is not a huge deal. But the reason why I really like the gray is it does a fantastic job of showing you all the little details, whether that's blemishes or whether that's, you know, just all of the details that the 3D modeler has put into creating the model that you're now printing or that you created that you're now printing. I'm a huge fan of gray. And I think that that really is a, awesome color for just general uh, general purpose printing. So if you guys have any questions or would like to find out more about this resin, links will be in the description down below. Uh, again, this is a phenomenal resin. This is certainly going to become my daily driver for quite a while for you know all of my general purpose resin 3D printing. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below uh, as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. I am looking forward to doing some more resin printing with this. So if you have picked up this resin or have already used it before, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments comments down below. If you've got any tips or tricks for new users, that's always really appreciated. We all kind of share our experiences and it helps with, uh, you know, helps with learning, helps us growing and uh, hopefully learning from each other's uh, mistakes and glorious victories. So on that note, thank you guys for watching. Uh, links will be down below if you do want to support the channel via Patreon. Thank you so much for everyone that does. It really helps me being able to spend more time producing awesome content like this for you guys. On that note, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace guys.